communication skills, which are essential to leave a good mark on others, are classified into verbal and nonverbal. Verbal skills are significant to convey your viewpoint to others, and they help us to handle the conflicts and to do negotiations. On the contrary, nonverbal skills enhance your personality if you work on them, and they help you to initiate good emotional contact with the person you are interacting with. Talkative persons face various problems in their lives. The prominent one is that sometimes while expressing their viewpoint, they tend to speak more than the requirement. And in this process, they widen the gap between near and dear ones. Because we cannot reverse the wrong words we utter and face the repercussions. Being talkative is an attribute which only a few people possess. Mostly, this quality you come with means it is an inborn talent. And such people are experts at generating guffaws of laughter whenever they are in a social gathering. Apart from this, they are the one who keeps a group lively. Hence, they are highly significant for our society. Being talkative is an attribute which is essential in those jobs where there is direct interaction with the clients. Before selling your product, you need to make emotional contact. And your speaking talent with a glib voice can work like a charm for you to plant seeds in prospective customers' minds.
As far as children are concerned, both parents and the teachers should encourage them to talk as much as they can. Because when they speak, they become more creative and generate more ideas. Moreover, they interact with people at a higher level. Due to that, they come across various unknown territories. And with more interaction, the children become more social. And the hidden talent inside them gets a chance to express it. In this modern era, students have immense pressure because of fierce competition and getting into the job market is challenging. Hence, they burn the midnight oil to get a plum job. In such a scenario, listening to music and talking to their near and dear ones can work like a charm for the students. Apart from this, they should talk to themselves while walking. It is worthwhile for employers to organize various activities to relax the employees. The best way is to organize excursion trips to nearby picnic spots. In these gatherings, the employees can do things beyond the conventional domain. Moreover, it empowers them to generate new ideas and promotes teamwork because meeting and interacting in different settings makes you feel better. In this modern era, people have various relaxing ways. Unlike in the past, when they had few entertainment options with only radio and TV, numerous digital platforms were there to provide unlimited entertainment. Moreover, the travel time has also reduced so people can have more holidays in less period as compared to the past.
to pass leisure time. People can have indoor activities and can go out and watch natural scenery. As far as indoor activities are concerned, people feel jaded and monotonous after indulging in them for some time. Whereas, natural sceneries are alluring, and the more you explore, the more enchanted you feel. So, aligning with nature is better than indulging in indoor activities for people to relax. Visiting movie theaters is a prudent approach in this modern era because people have immense stress in their lives. And when they go to watch a movie, they dedicate two to three hours to watch something entirely different from what they do in their real lives. So, it boosts creativity inside them and provides them an opportunity to have a gala time with their near and dear ones. Doing side hustles is gaining momentum these days. Many professionals such as doctors, engineers and advocates try to do some different things on weekends so that they can create some residual income. Numerous doctors are available on platforms like YouTube and Instagram with vital information regarding their skills to the general public, so that by adopting their advice, people can make significant changes in their lives. Moreover, the professionals earn passive income from these initiatives. For senior citizens, the relaxing ways differ from the younger generation. Young people love to go to those places where they find their friends. They find their lovers. They find their loved ones. Interacting with people appeals to them. On the contrary, senior citizens prefer to align with nature. 
That's why they go to those areas where there is a clean and pristine environment where there is not much hustle and bustle. Relaxation is highly significant in this modern era because people have an immense burden on their shoulders as they have to do tremendous hard work to make ends meet. So, when they relax, they unwind and find viable solutions to their pressing problems that empower them to take action to bring a paradigm shift in their lives. People have different ways to relax. Some get immense satisfaction while listening to their favorite music. Others engage in activities like playing guitar, dancing or talking to their near and dear ones to pass their leisure time. Some people remain sleep deprived due to their busy schedules. So, they get sufficient sleep in their leisure time to feel relaxed. Children have developing minds, and they are in the process of learning the tricks of the trade to live a worthwhile life. In such a scenario, sometimes they set goals which are not realistic. In such a scenario, it is the boundary duty of the parents and teachers to set goals for themselves so that they can lead their lives towards an impressive growth trajectory.
Young people start giving high importance to self-development content. Most of them become voracious readers with the progress in their lives. While reading books, they come to know the importance of setting goals for themselves. And this is the time when they become realistic and plan their future. Our life pivots around goals because when we chase them, we grow. However, we need to be more realistic. So, those ambitions for which we have patience and the support of our near and dear ones are more realistic as compared to those for which we want things quickly because it takes time for things to fall into place. Setting goals is imperative for people from all walks of life because when you do not have a definite goal, your condition is like a ship without a radar that is at the mercy of the wind to reach the required destination. Hence, goal setting should be a subject in schools and colleges. When people do not achieve their goals, they feel depressed for some time. Afterwards, they realize that not achieving the goal is also a blessing because it has taught them a lesson of not repeating the same mistake. So, unfulfilled goals provide you with a roadmap to lead towards the right trajectory.
Wearing uniforms for students is a worthwhile idea. Firstly, it saves quality time for students because every morning, they need not go through the lengthy process of selecting the clothes to wear. Moreover, it saves their parents money because they need not buy a lot of dresses for them. Lastly, it is worthwhile for the school authorities also, because it is easy for them to identify their students.